Israel or the other, visited our church compound. Yeah. He was from Shakaola. That's how he put it to me. And uh, I was requested, Pastor, can I have a right out there from Shakaola? And you'd like to see your church because you've been mentioned. I called him as a lawyer. I called them. I asked them, what should I do? And I called my spiritual father. Because I believe there is somebody who is above me spiritually, and even in matters of law, they should guide me. They told me, Pastor, the lawyer, when he comes, we must be there. So that you don't and he doesn't talk about anything about this issue. And my spiritual father told me, if you tell him not to come, it means you are hiding something. So allow him to come, but follow the rules of the court. So I said, because I have nothing to hide, sir, just come. He came, and I took him everywhere. And he was there. Even when we were talking, he was there. And why should we cry about maybe a leader who saw it good to verify the difference between Shakaola and New Life and, and some of us who are mandated to verify that refuse to come and we punish some a, a leader who decided to come even without the invitation we invited those who are appointed by his excellency the president to verify this they refused to make matters worse. Some of them are our spiritual father. If you talk about your spiritual son in the gospel and you say, I want to go there, then a political leader says, I have a responsibility. I have a following. I want to know whether you are right or wrong. Why should I tell him not to come? I'm still requesting even now that our leaders attend and come. So I could not deny him that opportunity. If I did, I think the Honorable Senator would have asked me, why did you stop that leader from coming? What were you hiding? And that is why I allowed him through their advice and his advice for clarity and openness. Yes. I didn't invite him. Mm. And no political point. Point of point here. I know him to make problems. Yeah. No, I you know, this, this issue uh, came uh, previously as an issue of issue with the leader. No, political affiliation. Political affiliation, that's what I meant. And he said it, it doesn't yeah. belong to him. And, and I was just trying to clarify that. And remember, he also said that uh, one of his highlight moments in his moment in his life is when he organized for Kasarani, uh, you know, crusade, which was his biggest. And that can really there also other leaders too who are involved. Could you also clarify in context of the thing how that came about? Thank you, Chair, for permitting that. Okay. I the the honorable leader who came, I Excellency, the uh, second lady, uh, Mrs. Uh, Rigan, she is a spiritual sister. To me, I will never deny that. Yeah. He is a father to me, he is a father to her. When she comes to attend my uh, crusade, and she says, and, uh, she says, Pastor, can I greet them? Yes, she has never mentioned anything political. She talks about God. So if I tell her, don't come. It means I'm affiliated either to the opposite uh, party. And she comes from another party. That is why I say no politics on our altar. And there will never be. That is what we do. In our church, I would bear ask anybody to mention. I who can. The witness, we are satisfied with that. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, let's make progress. Thank you, Chair. Let's make progress. Maybe you can give short answers. I will. You can see the mood of the house is now tired. I will. Yeah. I will. Okay. <laughs>